Hi everyone! This video is to serve as a review for anyone who might be thinking about purchasing the Book of Astronomy curriculum by Memoria Press. This is the teacher's book. This is the student book. And it also recommends purchasing the Greek myths book as well because um, this book talks about the constellations and how they got their name. All those crazy Greek stories um, that are pretty bizarre. But this is a very interesting book. Our kids really enjoyed looking through, uh, uh, looking through this book. There are some just wild and crazy pictures here, as you can see. Yeah. Um, anyway, so I highly recommend this book. I think it really adds to the um, to the curriculum. <clears throat> so overall, the Book of Astronomy curriculum by Memoria Press, we thoroughly enjoyed. Our kids um, really enjoyed studying the stars. We chose to study this at night, so uh, on the clear nights we could go out and see the stars as we were studying it. Um, the book is divided in amongst four units. So units one, two, and three um, cover the constellations. Unit four covers the solar system. Another reason we really like this curriculum is because I had a difficult time finding um, a curriculum that would cover the constellations and the solar system. Sometimes I'd find that just the constellations and no solar system was included and then vice versa. So Anyway, this hit all the nails on the head that I was going after. It's also biblically based. It talks about um, there are three passages from the Bible that um, the student can learn through the course of the um, curriculum. And um, I didn't realize, I didn't know this until we studied this, but the Bible actually talks about several of the constellations that we see every day. So it's just, it's just really awesome. Our God's very awesome. And um, this study definitely um, sh showed that to us. Um, so, and, and in addition to that, I did purchase the lesson plans as well. This is totally not necessary. But this was one of the first cur um, curriculum curriculums I had ever really sat down and wrote out lesson plans for. So I, I got this just in case it gave me some hints. And um, it was it, it was definitely useful to me, but if, you, if you've if you done lesson plans galore and uh, you've got plenty of, of experience, this is probably definitely not um, something you would need. But I went through and made up my own, and um, basically these are the ones I made up. Um, Pretty much you're, you can divide each unit into eight weeks. Um, it, we could have studied it a lot faster, but I had a fourth grader and a second grader um, learning this, and I didn't want to, um, I just didn't, there was no need for us to go fast or, or get it um, completed by a certain time. So um, we kind of kept it slow. Some nights, some weeks we did four lessons a week or four sections a week but most of the time it was just two to three nights a week where we studied this together most of the time it was just two two nights a week um so basically again it's divided into four units um it studies several of the constellations um and lastly of course it studies the solar system and there's lots of ways to add to this curriculum when you're getting to the solar system part. Um, we also purchased an astronomy DVD which talks about um, it's, it's from a creationist standpoint and um, the guy does a fanta fantastic job um, telling why evolutionists believe such and such but yet the Bible says this and just just saying how you know let you know how bizarre is some of their beliefs are um, as far as ha our solar system being billions millions of years old and you know that's just the, the facts just prove otherwise so anyway um, okay let's see here what else okay so I'll give you an example of what 
um, the very first thing um, that we went over is the summer fall triangle this right here and so the student learns those constellations the bright stars of those constellations by the way they learn the 15 brightest stars that's some of what they have to memorize um, and then what they'll do is they'll um, here's an exercise so they'll draw the constellation and then right here they're writing out the this is the constellation and then this is the bright star that goes along with it um, and that's pretty much how it is. Um, one thing we really, I really liked about this book is that it's very simple. It's black and white, which I'm a big fan of because um, instead of um, the, the pages being filled with all of this color and other items and pictures of things um, drawing their attention away from the main object, um, this is just simple. It's okay, here's the constellation, here's the bright star. Here's the surrounding constellations, bam. And they did such a good job of recalling how that constellation was supposed to look and how it was supposed to be drawn. Many times they never even looked back. It was like, it was just stuck in their brain. So um, I really like this. I know some people are going to find this very boring because there's no color on it. But man, I just, they did a great job um, remembering them. I think there's something to be said about, bam, there it is. Bam, there's the other one. Um, so anyway, you learn several constellations each unit, and then, and then, and then um, at the end of each unit, there are unit, the unit one exercises, unit two exercises. Those are about, I don't know, three to four pages, and then they draw the constellations again. Of course, um, there are tests if you want to give them. All the tests are in the teacher's book, and you have to make copies, um, which is really inconvenient <laughs> because you know how it is making a copy like this it, it this would be awesome if we could just tear that out and then make copies that way um, but that's not how it is um, the student book is identical to um, the teacher's book except of course it doesn't have the answers and the tests are not in there so um, Anyway, so again, our we highly recommend recommend this curriculum. It was everything. It was it has um, surpassed my expectations, and um, our kids they just really seem seem to like it. Um, let me think here. I think that is about all. Um, let's see. Did I mention this? Yes, I believe I did. Um, yeah, so the curriculum can be completed in about 33 weeks. Again, if you go a little bit faster, you could you could shave off quite a bit of that if you've got an older student and if you assign more readings per, throughout the week. But anyway, well, I'm gonna this video is over now, and I hope that this has helped you make a decision and um, about the book of astronomy uh, the book of astronomy by memoria press um and by the way no i did not get uh, reimbursed for doing this video um um this the sole purpose of this video is to help someone out who might be contemplating getting this for their students um we use youtube review video videos all the time and i just thought it was about time that i um add some myself to help someone else out Anyway, well, um, happy homeschooling, and until next time.